Good morning, guys. I am quickly adding some curls to my hair because I am heading out for an event relatively soon. So I'm just freshening up my hair and I've already done my makeup. I was gonna vlog doing my makeup and all that stuff, but I was like, honestly, whenever I try to film doing the whole thing, it takes double the amount of time and I just don't have time to do all of that. So this morning I am starting off here, kind of halfway through the getting ready process. I'm going to Hillsborough Village for an event with uh, Mary Lawless Lee. She used to go by Happily Gray, but she actually changed her Instagram and Happily Gray is her storefront now or her brand. So we are gonna go celebrate the launch of a collection she did with this company called Splendid, I believe. They are a clothing company. And so they sent over a little outfit to wear the event and I have yet to unbox it. So this is kind of how I roll. It's definitely like last minute, like, well, I hope this fits. I did try to pick out something that was kind of like easy to wear. I don't know if I got a romper though. The only thing is that it's been really nice out lately, but today, it is so foggy and very, very chilly. So I might have gotten something for warmer weather. We shall see, but yeah, I just wanted to freshen up my hair, add some new curls in. This is my makeup for the day, a little bit more than usual. I pulled out all the good products because I was like going to an event. Gotta look, feel our best. I am going to show you guys the outfit that they sent and we're just gonna really hope and pray that it fits. <laughs> I had to double check that we're actually supposed to wear this to the event because last time I went to an event and I didn't check what I was supposed to wear, I showed up in the wrong thing. If you guys were around on my channel back in December, I went to, no, not back in December. When was this? February, not that long ago. Oh my gosh. Back in February, I went to a, what was it? It was a kittenish event or something like that. The dress code was to wear pink and I was literally the only girl at that event that didn't wear pink. So now I double check the email. But this is what we've got here. It says Mary Lawless Lee. Splendid. And it looks like we've got a little tote bag. This is actually so adorable. Love the print. And we have got a set. I think these are shorts. So hopefully I won't be freezing. I wonder if I need to wear the top and the bottoms together or if I can get away with just wearing the top because it is a little bit cold. I just feel like I'm gonna be freezing if I wear the shorts as well. Really beautiful though. Look at this color. Sage green linen. So nice. And I just got these in an extra small and I think these are gonna fit perfectly. These are like so nice feeling. Like they feel like my parachute bedding, very luxurious. And then I've got the matching top here, which is a long sleeve button down top. And I'm like, do I need to steam this? I might need to steam this really quick before I go, but I'm just gonna throw this on and, well, I'm gonna steam the top. I'm gonna steam it. Then I'm gonna throw it on and we're gonna assess from there. <laughs> Got another pair of shoes from Dolce Vita and I'm thinking I might wear these to the event. I can't remember what they are, but I'm pretty sure they're like a neutral. Ooh, okay, so these are actually very fancy. I think these might be a little too formal for the event, but how pretty are these? I wonder if I could wear them. I probably couldn't wear it with this, but I'll just show you guys this outfit. I think I'm gonna switch into jeans though. Hi, Rye. Hi, you smelling the shoes? I think I'm gonna switch into jeans though because Jay Waz just got back from breakfast and he said that it was like a little bit chilly out and he said that he would probably recommend not wearing shorts, but I wanna show you guys, they're so cute. Okay, so this is the set and it is adorable. Like I'm obsessed with these shorts. These are so cute. They fit really, really well. And then this top is like amazing. The best thing about this too is that it's linen. So it's gonna just naturally get a little bit wrinkly, which I think is totally perfect for like spring and summer, kind of casual vibes. How cute are these shorts? Yeah, I think my legs are gonna be cold, but these are the shoes and they might be a little too fancy 
for today's event but i'm gonna throw this top on with jeans and see if then we can rock the shoes because i really like them or i might put the platform ones on that i got in a previous vlog all right i switched out of the shorts and i've got on these amazing jeans from everlane these are the way high jeans they are in this really pretty kind of like sandy color so i still love that's very like muted tonally and then i've got a couple shoe options so i've got all of these from dolce vita these two and then these are from myoli i don't even know how you say this brand but i'm trying to figure out which ones i should wear i think the white might be a little bit like too bright compared to the rest of the outfit although they're like so cool i think the white ones are going to be a little too stark against the tan and then the other ones i've got are these like crazy platforms which could be kind of fun wearing these i might go with these because i'm like when am i gonna wear these again and then the other ones are the pearls and i just think these ones don't really work with the outfit because they're like a little too formal looking so i'm thinking maybe the platforms actually crazy i just noticed too that my toenail polish matches this top not planned but very convenient so i've got a sage green toenail polish okay so this would be the outfit what do we think celine no celine does the celine make the top look like too blue i don't know if that actually works and now i'm like second guessing the shoes the shoes are just like so fun i'm gonna see about a different bag this is the other bag choice the brown which i think is really pretty up against the green i might wear this one i think that's really cute okay so now i'm like back to the shoes i don't know if it's weird that they're like the same color as my pants so maybe I will swap the shoes for like a brown shoe. Okay, final look. I know I wear these heels all the time, guys, but they literally go with everything and they're so comfortable. So I think we're just gonna go with it. I will link everything that I am wearing down below, but I'm gonna head out so that I can park and then I'm not late. <laughs> Just part. I ended up paying for parking, which normally I wouldn't, but I didn't want to feel rushed. And so I decided to just pay the $6 and park and not even have to worry about the car. So I'm walking over to, I think it's called Greenery Co. I have yet to go here. They added it to the Hillsborough Village area. Maybe last year, I used to come down here all the time because Jay Waz used to work down here at a coffee shop called Replicator. And that coffee shop has since then been turned over to a barista parlor so r.i.p revelator but i used to be down here like literally every day and now it's pretty rare that i come down here so it's kind of nostalgic being here again just got out of the event and I am on my way to the mall now because I wanted to stop by to see if my photos are in the mall pamphlet. Jason and I shot these photos back in December of last year for the mall and one of my neighbors sent me a photo that she saw the pamphlets had our photos that we took and so I wanted to stop by the mall to see if I can pick one up and just grab a couple of those just to have as like a souvenir and then also I wanted to stop by Sephora which I can't film in Sephora so I'm not going to film in there but I wanted 
wanted to stop by Sephora because the Sephora sale is going on and I'm not like a VIB member or anything like that. But I wanted to pick up a foundation that I have had my eye on for forever. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I wanted to get shade matched. I thought about buying it online but then I was like probably better if I go in and get matched just because it is a more luxury foundation. And then I wanted to pick up a new eyeshadow palette that I've had my eye on as well from Patrick Ta. So there's like a couple of things I want to get at Sephora but the event was so great. I feel like the events that I go to now I'm way more choosy about because time is just so important these days. I feel like that's something that COVID really showed showed me is that like time is either spent working or it's spent with your family and I feel like I've been way more selective about where I put my time these days and it was just really good going to this event because I just love Mary. She's like so genuine. She's so hardworking. Everything she does is so incredible and beautiful and she is just so good at designing and curating and she's just a leader in the like influencer space she really is she's like carved the path for people like me and people who are like a bit younger than her she truly is like so inspiring and so it was really good to see her and just like catch up a little bit but i did bring some sneakers to change into once i get to the mall because I didn't want to walk around in my heels. I am now sitting in greenhouse traffic, but the salad at Greenery Co. is so good, so fresh. They made it like on the spot and it was delicious. So I definitely want to go back there one day because Jason and I love bowls. We love this place called Radish. It's in Sylvan Park and that place is so delicious as well. It's almost just like radish, I would say, but I really liked my salad, so I'm feeling very good. It feels good to like eat something that is not super heavy. Yesterday I ate Annie's mac and cheese for lunch, so salad feels so much better and I feel like you can eat like a ton of it. I also want to stop by Target on the way home and Costco because I need to get gas, so we've got a full day ahead of us. I just got to the mall and it was all parked up. I literally circled the garage by Nordstrom like three times to try and get a parking spot because I wanted to go through the Nordstrom designer bag section. But now I am parked by the Dillard's, which isn't like far from the Nordstrom, but it's definitely the opposite side of the mall from the Sephora and the Nordstrom's on the way to Sephora though. So it's fine. I'm actually closer to the Crane Barrel. So maybe I'll stop in there, but I had to change out of my heels so that I could walk around the mall. <laughs> First stop though, legit, the bathroom. I always start my mall visits with a quick trip to the bathroom. I forgot to show you guys my earrings before I left the house. These are the Jenny Bird Huff earrings and then I've got on this old misery chain which is super chunky. And then my sneaks. So dreamy. Why is Cranberry literally the best place on earth? Look at these chairs. I can't remember if I told you guys, but we just ordered our bed frame from Crate and Barrel like a month ago. And we got the shipping notification that's coming on Friday. If you guys have been with my channel, you've heard me talk about this dang bed frame that we've been sleeping on since we got married in 2018. We got this really cheap like $40 or $60 bed frame off of Amazon when we got married. And we are finally parting with that stupid thing. It is so creaky and it sways and it's just like so high off the ground because we used to have to store a bunch of like clear tubs under the bed because we didn't have any storage in our old place. So this one is gonna be a little bit lower to the ground. It's like upholstered. It's really cool and arched. We got it from Crate and Barrel and it ended up going on like mega sale when we ordered it. We don't even know how this happened, but we had been looking at this bed frame for a really long time, like before we even bought the house. And we checked one day randomly and it was on sale. So I'm so excited. I think they might be discontinuing it, but it worked in our favor. We're so pumped. But I'm in here just looking at all the outdoor stuff. It's really, really cute. Cray Barrel and CBT are like my favorite brands. That would be like a dream, a dream, dream, dream to work with them one day, but 
until then I just come in here and I just look at everything. I've been wanting some new placemats for our dining room because the ones that we have are woven and they're more like a fabric so they get really dirty and I have to wash them a lot so I really like those. I don't know if it would look too like outdoorsy though on our glass table. I want something that like works with the space but those are really pretty. These cups are amazing. Oh they're plastic. Those are really really nice. I think these are the bowls. This might be a different version. This is like the plastic version of the bowls that we got for like our big salads and stuff. They have so many cute, cute baskets. Oh my gosh. And then I think these are like wood plates. These are so cute. These are plastic. So they're like a wood, kind of faux wood look to it. These are placemats. These are really cute. They only have two of them. This would be perfect, honestly. But they only have two, which is so sad. I could go a totally different route and do these. This could be really fun. I really like those. I'll text Jay Waz and ask if he likes them, but I think those are really pretty. So I would need six of these because we've got six spots at our table and we only have four placemats. So that could be really fun. These are so cute. Are these plastic too? I also love all of their vases. This could be so cool for our center island in the kitchen. This one's really funky as well. I like this shape. And then this one, of course. But I feel like this would be too big for our island, but this would look really good on like an entryway table. I really, really like this though. I wonder if this would look good on our center island with some twigs and stuff in it. We really want to do some new furniture in the center room eventually. This is like very low on the list, but I'm just telling you guys because I'm in here. We really want to do some new sunroom furniture and this would look so Oh, so good. What I really need to know is if this basket is for sale because I think this might be the right size for our fiddle leaf. I wonder if it would be big enough. Y'all, this is literally Jason's response. I said, what about this for our table? And he said, yeah, what is it? It's a placemat. <laughs> oh, he said, just one? <laughs> no, I would get six of them. <laughs> Okay, I kind of panicked. I found some stuff in there that I liked. JWAS wasn't like sold on the placemats and they're kind of girly, especially with the glass table and then the chandelier that we got. I feel like, I don't know, it might look a little bit too like feminine. So I'm gonna keep looking. I'm actually going to Target later, like I said. So if I don't find anything at Target, maybe I'll come back and look at Crate and Barrel again. But I wanna give Target a chance to see if there's something there, like placemats that they might have. Or I was also looking for a really big vase to go in our kitchen island but I didn't find something that I was like 100% sold on so I thought I would check Target and then see if they have something that I like better. Those decorative items are like hard to splurge on but then once you get them, you're like, they're so pretty. Guys, look. It's me. Directory. Does anybody even look at the directory for a mom? Well, if they do, they'll see me. Pretty dang cool. It's me, face of the mall. Not really, the face of the mall directory that nobody reads, but it's still kind of cool. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna pop into Aritzia. It's been a while since I've been in here. How cute. Everything here is just like so adorable. Some stuff can get pretty pricey, so you have to be kind of, you know, selective about what you grab. But I've got some really good leather pants here, and a lot of their like faux leather stuff is like such good quality. It's super soft. They've got so many like pretty floral pieces here. Longer dresses, which would be so pretty for like a wedding. Okay, I love these pants. I can like already tell these pants are so good. Put the pocket on these. There's no pockets in the back, but they have the pockets on the front. And then they've got the button. They kind of remind me of the Zara pants that I have, but they're really pretty color. Okay, so I didn't end up pulling that much, but I did grab two pairs of denim shorts. These are the, I believe it's pronounced a Goldie brand, and I've never tried their jeans before, but they looked like a really flattering cut, so I thought I would just give them a try and try them out because I lost my favorite pair of Everlane jean shorts. I don't know what happened to them, but I can't find them, and they were similar cut to this, so I'm gonna try these on. Then I just grabbed one tank that I thought was just adorable. It's this little yellow striped tank. One thing I did notice is like $70, so I kind of have to like be obsessed with it to get it, but I thought I would at least try it out. So one thing about Aritzia is that they do not have mirrors in the actual like dressing room. I really, really like these. I'm gonna see if they have them in one size down. I think this size might work though. They're like a really, really comfortable length. 
lately I've been wanting a little bit of a longer short anyway. I really like the wash. I'm gonna try on the other pair that I grabbed though, one size down. I didn't see this specific wash in the size I was looking for, but the top is really, really cute. Okay, so this is actually the other size and I think this fits a lot better. So I'm gonna ask them if they have these in the lighter wash in the size. But yeah, I'm gonna pass on the tank. I think it's honestly just a little bit too cropped for the types of jeans shorts that I would wear because these are pretty high-waisted. I mean, they're really high-waisted and it still like shows a good bit of my stomach. So I'm probably going to pass on the top, but I'm loving these shorts. So if they have them in my size, I'm gonna grab the lighter wash. I ended up ordering those shorts just from Aritzia because they could do it with free shipping, which was really nice. And she said they should arrive in like five business days. I'll link the ones that I ended up getting down below because they're so stinking cute. Now I am in Nordstrom because I told you guys I wanted to come in here and show you guys some like spring summer bags that I'm considering. There's one on the YSL website. They don't have at the Nordstrom store, but I thought I'd show you a couple other ones that I've been looking at. I come in here literally all the time. They're probably like, this girl's so annoying. She won't stop coming in and looking at these bags, but bags are my thing, y'all know that. Okay, I feel like everybody and their mom has this bag now, which I highly considered it, but now I feel like everyone has one and I'm I'm like backing off of it. Oh, I wish they had the YSL one that I've been looking at. They've got these ones. I really love these like bigger totes. I'm not sure how much use I get out of it daily though. They released it in this green color though, which is really, really pretty. Okay, so they do have one of the, I think it's called raffia style bags. It's like woven, which is really cute. So maybe I'll try one of those on. Guys, I don't know. I wish they had the one that I was looking at, but they never really carry like the obscure seasonal ones. And of course that's like what I'm looking at. This one is really, really pretty, but I need a crossbody strap. Okay, this is a new color to YSL this year. It's really pretty. I saw a kind of like top handle bag in this color, which was really great. But I think I still wanted something more like neutral because I actually don't have a tan bag. Here's another raffia style, which is cute. So the bag that I was looking at online, they don't carry here, but let me see if I can pull it up. It's this one. It's this like canvas one with beige and they don't have that one here, but they do have a similar, like the same style, but in a different leather, obviously. So this is the bag. It's a little bit long as a crossbody, so I'm really glad I'm trying it on. The nice thing about this chain is that you can, you know, wear it as a shoulder bag, but I really wanted to see what it looked like on. I love the size of it. I'm just wondering if the chain's gonna be too long on me, which would be really heartbreaking because it's not adjustable. So this is what it looks like on the shoulder. I think it's the perfect size. It is really cute, but I think with like it being as long as it is, it might not be super functional. I also don't know how she closed this. Oh, it just snaps in. Okay, so this one, she suggested doubling up the strap like I do with my Gucci chain wallet. And then it's like a really cute length, so. Also, she showed me how you open it. It's like this little clasp here. You turn and then you, I can't do it with one hand. There we go. This is the inside of the bag. Lots of little dividers. I'm gonna see if I can fit my camera in here. I don't think I'll be able to, which is sad, which might rule out this bag completely, but we'll give it a try. Okay, this is the other one that I was looking I at. I just I really like want a good summer bag, but I wish this was cream. It's the only thing. This did definitely hold my camera. It's pretty big actually, very casual. Okay, both of these come in, they're like beige, but I'm loving both of these. I'm so surprised by it, but this one is actually really, really adorable because it's one giant pocket. So it definitely holds my camera. It would be really good clutch you could wear it as a like shoulder bag and i think this would be perfect for summer because it's so tiny and just like portable it has a back pocket for your phone this one is like the next size up you can obviously wear it as a shoulder bag i think this is also one giant pocket which would definitely fit my camera i don't know which one do you guys like better Leave me a comment. I can't decide. Okay, that definitely solidified that I can't get the bag that I really, really wanted. It doesn't fit my vlog camera, like not even kind of. And I feel like that just rules it out from even being a possibility at this point. I tried on a couple of other styles, which I showed you that I really like. They come in their gorgeous neutral beige and I really want like a light tan bag for spring and summer. And those ones are like a super, durable leather so those are what i'm considering now probably won't get one until like may but i've just been thinking about getting 
something a little bit lighter because my Gucci is dark. This bag is dark. My double flap is dark. Okay, I'm gonna pop in Madewa really quick. Sorry about it. They have the best blazers, seasonal blazers. So I love all their comfy tanks and t-shirts. So amazing. How stinking cute is this? Oh my gosh. It's on sale. Probably not gonna get it because it's, you know, getting warmer outside, but it's just so cute. This is the bag that I have in that mint green. They've got it in yellow, in blue, in their tan and black as well. They also have that brown woven bag I got in white, which is really, really pretty. And this olive color. Gosh, so many fun colors for spring. I had seen some styles online that I really wanted to try on because you guys know I've been into sunglasses lately and just trying new styles. And Ray-Ban actually has some really great ones right now that I just wanted to kind of see what they look like on my face before I like ordered them, especially these. These are the ones I actually saw online that I was so excited about. Okay, I'm actually shocked how light these are. They're so light. I thought they were gonna be heavier. But they are like the lightest sunglasses I've ever felt. They have the nose pieces, which I definitely need, but they do touch my cheeks. Okay, so she adjusted the nose pieces on these and they actually sit up a little bit higher. What's shocking about these and what I'm honestly very attracted to is how light they are because they don't put any pressure on the ears or on the nose. Like I wish you guys could feel how lightweight these are. There's another pair that just landed. Just saw these ones. I love these like tortoise aviator styles right now. These are really cute too. I really like these. Okay guys, I did it. I had been looking at these for a while online and I decided to pull the trigger on some because I had sold my past Ray-Bans that I had because they were not working for me. They were too heavy and they gave me such a headache when I wore them. But these are super lightweight, so I'll like try them on for you guys when I get home. I'm gonna stop by Sephora, I can't film in here. So, they did not have the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. It actually had sold out completely, which I'm kicking myself because I almost ordered it the other day, and then I was like, no, I'm just gonna wait till I go in and get my foundation and pick it up when I do that, and they sold out. So, I just got the foundations in this bag. I am going to head to Target now, and I need to get a hairbrush from there. So I'm gonna go to Target and look at the home decor, and then also just grab some stuff that I actually need. Do need to go to Costco to get gas, but it's been a very, very fun day. I am in line for gas, but I wanted to show you guys the sunglasses. I love them so much. Like, this is exactly what I was looking for, an aviator that is all tortoise. How funky are they? And they have the most amazing warm tint to them, but not orange. They're like a warm brown. Oh, it's so good. And I love that they're not like super reflective on the outside either. They're just like the perfect shades and they're so lightweight. Like that's the best part is that they truly don't feel like they're even on my face. I've never felt a lighter pair of sunglasses. I think my next lightest pair are the crew sunglasses and having a lightweight pair of sunglasses is so comfortable it's like game changing and so i'm very very excited about these i can't wait to show jay was i told him about these a while ago and he was like you should just order them but i didn't want to order them until i could like go in and try them on and i'm pretty sure they are a men's style frame on the website but i think they look so good so unique too because i feel like you see so many aviators that have the metal across here or like the metal frames, but this is also tortoise. Like how cool is that? So I really, really love that. And that's what makes them so light too, is that they're just like all the tortoise. So I love them so much. Also guys, I shade matched myself at Sephora for the Armani foundation. And then I like went up to the girl and I was like, can you shade match me? I like picked out the shade, but I'm not sure if it's right. And she said that I nailed it, which is great. Cause typically when I pick out a shade, it's like one or two shades too dark. So what I've started to do is go in, go for the shade that I would naturally go for and then go backwards two shades lighter. So I'm shade 4.5 in case you guys were similar in skin tone and you wanted to 
try out this foundation i like put it on my hand guys i have really high hopes for this i mean literally every single person that i know who's like big into beauty uses this foundation and then a couple of my friends who do like makeup professionally on like brides and photo shoots use this foundation so i'm very very excited i always laugh whenever i'm in costco because the carts are like really really tall and they go all the way up to my chest Okay, I literally came here for the Annie's cheese puffs and I might not be leaving with Annie's cheese puffs because I don't see them and that is gonna just absolutely break Jason's heart. I cannot believe they're not here. What the heck? Just kidding guys, they moved them to a different part of Costco. We're good, everything is okay. Six dollars for this giant bag. If you guys have not tried these, they are literally insane. It's basically just the mac and cheese powder from like the mac and cheese box on puffs. Should I get one or two bags? Probably just one. They're so good though. Okay, maybe just, mm, I'm getting two. <laughs> I also need to get more laundry detergent. Y'all don't judge us, but we low key love this toilet paper. We had to get it during COVID because they ran out of all the other kinds and this stuff does not clog your toilets no matter what and we just can't get off it now. Okay, so I'm in Target now and I just remembered that I am getting dinner with my friend Mary Helen tonight at 5.30 and it is currently 4 p.m. so I don't have that much time I gotta run home drop everything off this is good though this will like actually keep me focused and get what I came here for which first thing is a hairbrush I really really need a new wet brush because mine I've had forever and all the little bristles have fallen off so I think I need a new one they like totally redid our target and now I don't know where anything is I'm like where's the hair stuff I think I walked past it. Wait, here's the hair clips. I'm looking for brushes. Okay, here are the hair brushes. And I really wanted a wet brush. So it looks like we've got this one, which is like bright green. Um, I got like this tiny one, which is, I really just want like a black one. But is this the type of thing that I'm honestly just gonna end up ordering online it feels like there's a pink one a green one a blue oh purple is kind of cute purple and gray should i just get the purple one this is my dilemma with buying it in stores i feel <gasps> stop is this it well this is just the regular paddle the original detangler this one doesn't have the bristles hmm I'll just get this one because it's like the black one's the original. We'll see how we like it. Really quick, I just wanted to check the home stuff and see if there's anything worth grabbing for our house. I really, really love all of their ceramics. Like, wasn't this like literally just at Green Barrel for like $50? And it's here, but it's like 20 something. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh, wait, this is what I wanted to order online, but they were sold out. I'm gonna get it for our island. I love this because it's got little feet. I thought this could be really pretty with like a candle sitting on it. Okay, why are all the candles so cute? That one smells really good. This one's just called salt. That one's really cute. Okay, this one is really, really adorable. Like this sitting on the tray. Like, how cute is that? So they have these placemats, but I think these are gonna get even more dirty than the ones that we currently have. I'm trying to see if they've got, oh, this is a placemat. It's kind of like a pinkish color. Hmm, this one's pretty. This is a placemat as well. Yeah, no. Definitely don't need another mug, but this is just the cutest little thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Why is all of the hearth and hand stuff perfection? Okay, these are so cool. They're literally these stone platters i mean these would be so expensive at cb2 25 dollars. i'm gonna link them down below because they're very very cool really really sturdy too okay so they have a few different little placemat settings these are really really adorable six dollars instead of 17 dollars at cream girl could be kind of fun they've also got these which are more just like solid no, I'm still not totally sold on the 
circle placemat yet. One's like plastic. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not convinced on any of these quite yet. It's still like mine the best, I think. So I'm going to just keep my eye out for some placemats. Just left Target and I got some really, really cute stuff for our house. So I'm feeling good about that. I am heading home now to change into some comfy clothes before I meet up with Mary Helen for some tacos. I just had tacos last night, but you can't keep me away. I love my tacos. I just got back home, took out my earrings, took off my chunky necklace, put all my dainty stuff back on. And I've still got the splendid top on, but I just threw on my free people jacket. I'm gonna wear this super cash little crossbody bag from free people. These are currently my favorite jeans from Madeball right now. You guys saw these in my most recent haul. And then I've got on these Rothy's washable sneakers to wear in the rain. So I'm gonna head out and grab some tacos. I'm with the goat <laughs> at her favorite place on earth. Real talk, this is the best place in Nashville. You can get two full meals for under $20. It's the best value, best but not value. the best tacos. It's not. Have you been a redhead stranger yet? Yes, yes, yes. I wouldn't say all the tacos are the best. I would say the fried chicken taco. We used to come here all the time. Well, the one on Charlotte. Well, and I come here once a week. <laughs> Still? We didn't come here this week, so this is my one to eat. All right, we got the guac, the salsa verde, which my house says the best. The best. But we've got the fried chicken tacos. They're really good. They have like ranch on them. Delish. It is the next day. Last night, I ended up hanging with Mary Helen. You guys saw we got tacos and just caught up and stuff like that. And then I came home and I painted my nails. So now there's this fun green color. I can't remember. Let me see what color this is. This is the color Energize from Olive and June. This is the nail polish that I've been using pretty much every single time I've done my nails since we moved in August. Kind of around August really is when I stopped gelling my nails and I've just been doing regular polish and this stuff lasts a pretty long time. So I have a discount code, I'll link it down below, but I'm wearing the shade Energize. I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got at Target. We're gonna do a quick Target haul and then I'm actually going to end the vlog after we do the Target haul because I decided that it's too long we're not gonna do the whole bed frame situation. That might just be something that I share on Instagram or it might be in a different vlog. But I wanted to show you guys what I got from Target because I got some really cute stuff for the house and I just had not been to Target in a really, really long time. So the first thing that I got, which I was most excited about is this giant base. This was $25. I'm shook because it is like so big. Something like this at Crate and Barrel or CB2 would be at least $40. And for $25, it's got this really pretty speckled texture on it. You can tell it's like a ceramic and it's just so nice. And I like set it up on our piano last night because I knew I was gonna do the haul with you guys the next day and it just looked so good sitting up on our piano so i'm trying to figure out where i want to put this but it's honestly so nice how large it is you could put like branches in it or like fake decorative plants or something like that really really pretty and i love the texture on it so that was the first thing that i got also i am wearing the new foundation the giorgio armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. And right now I'm breaking out a ton. So I did have to put like extra concealer and stuff on, but this is such a beautiful, like light to medium coverage foundation. And I just applied it with a brush and it, it's so like dewy and hydrating. It's really, really pretty. So I can't wait to use this when I have like actually good skin because I can already tell, like I just love the finish of it. So this, so far, from what I've tried, a total win. I'm so excited to use it. Definitely like not full coverage though. So if you have like a ton of breakouts like I do right now, I think I counted nine active zits between like my forehead and my chin because of my diet. It's been really bad. I've been having a lot of dairy lately. That's why I didn't get queso last night. I was like, do not let me get queso. I'm breaking out a lot. So this is like perfect if you want to even out your skin tone and you need a good light to medium coverage foundation. It's it's so great. It honestly kind of reminds me a little bit of the 
the YSL new bare look skin tint that is like a light coverage this is like a medium coverage but very similar feel and formula and it's just really really nice so i'm very excited about that i got two sort of like platters at target so I got this one. I found this one on the bottom of all of those stone bowls, which I showed you guys. They had like 10 of them there. And this one stuck out to me the most because it was actually the least like busy as far as like the material. This was $25 as well. It is so heavy, like it is solid stone. And I just love the texture on it. I thought this could be so pretty underneath a plant you could put it on your beauty counter and like put your makeup on it you could use it as a keys and like sunglasses bowl there's like a lot you can do with these types of things so you could put a candle on it plant on it makeup jewelry would be so pretty on it so i just thought this was like a really really beautiful beautiful piece and like again $25, something like that at CB2 would be at least like $40 for sure. Next, I got this little wood tray to put on the center of our island. We currently have one that I got at Marshall's, I think, or maybe it's TJ Maxx. And it's a tray that like you have handles on. It's more of like a, like a TV tray almost kind of thing. So I got this one because I love the little feet on it. And I just thought this would be a really cute switch up for the center island and then we can use that tray for like if we put our couch in bed mode you can actually like put bowls and cups on it and stuff because when we put our couch in like the big bed mode there's no like side tables so anyway thought this would be a really cute addition because i like the way that it sits up like that next i got a spoon rest because tragically our handmade ceramic spoon rest that I got in a subscription box fell off our counter and broke. It was really sad because I actually loved that spoon rest. There's two spoon rests that we have and one I really loved and one I was like uh, so cheap. It's from, I don't know, like Amazon or something and was just so generic looking. And the one of course that's like handmade and beautiful is the one that fell off the counter. And so we lost that one, but we got this one, this one, it's just like a threshold one, just like a little marble spoon rest. Thought it was cute. So that was just something that we actually needed. I got the hairbrush. This is the Wet Brush Original Detangler. For some reason, I thought my hair girl had the hairbrush with the little bristles, not just the plastic bristles, but the hair bristles. You guys know what I'm talking about, but she doesn't. She actually has this one, just the paddle brush. So I ended up getting this one and I'm gonna put the other one that I have in the shower. Then I got, I think this is actually, I have three more things. So I got this tiny vase. This was $6. I just thought this was so cute. I literally like blacked out at Target, I feel like. But this actually is really adorable. I thought this would look so cute on our fireplace, on the piano, or just somewhere, honestly in our guest bathroom. Really, really cute. You can put little buds in it. Adorable. So I really liked that. And then I got two jars for our kitchen. So this is the big one. And I thought that this would be great for oats or for flour or just honestly for anything. I like that it had the wood lid. And this one is, I actually don't know the volume of this one, but it kind of looks like a gallon or a little bit less than a gallon. This one is the smaller one. And then they actually had an even smaller one, but they were sold out, which I was kind of sad about. But this one I thought would be perfect for again, flowers or my sourdough starter when I make bread because I need kind of a lot of it whenever I make bread. So I got these at Target as well. So lots of wood, lots of stone, lots of little house things. This is another option. I could do an asymmetrical vibe and have two different like kind of heights and then do like fruit or avocados in the stone one and then have that one just for like the plant and the candle. So that is an option, which I actually kind of like it because it's not as like contained in one circle. It's like 
staggered. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this for now and probably move stuff around as I look at it throughout the week. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and spending the day with me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And if you're new here and you wanna stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you back on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. <laughs>